What's going on traders? This is Mike with Tactical Traders doing some end of the day scans and right now I am looking at ticker symbol NKLA on the daily chart over the past few months of price history. So we had a nice impressive day, tons of volume coming in on the stock, having a nice gap up and pretty much for the most part holding most of its gains, which is pretty impressive also because today the overall markets were a bit shaky and bearish, very a lot of choppy action today. But it is really interesting that it did stop right about the $55 uh, area. It makes a lot of sense too once you back check it to past data points. So we'll just draw that up and we can see that right here around the $55 range, uh, it did act as support over here, here before breaking below and acting as resistance all throughout here, then falling back down with a large gap down. And then this is kind of where the price has been bouncing around until today's action where we had that nice gap but with plenty of volume behind it. And the volume is absolutely going to be key. That's going to cement to me that the bulls are serious and they have a lot of momentum behind them. Now to get a better view on the action today, let's pull up the 30 minute chart. And here we go. And so right away, I can instantly see a pattern unfolding in a couple key areas of interest. And before I go into those, if you like this video, if you're finding some knowledge here and, and you appreciate the video, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, and definitely comment below and I'll get back to you. But back into the chart. So we had a nice pre-market move up from here all the way going up. And this is what I call a bull pole, this yellow line. I just try to highlight there. And then the price has kind of gone into a more of a consolidating fa uh, fashion. And yes, it did pop up to that 55 briefly. I think right about here during this time of the day, uh, looks like about 2 o'clock, a little after 2. Uh, is where it started to slide and that makes sense to me because the overall markets right about that time were really starting to give up um, uh, any, any bullish trend that it had going. So anyways, the price has gone into more of a consolidating fashion. I'm going to draw this up real quick. So a nice trend going up and then it looks like the main area of resistance is going to be here right here at this 52 area. Oops. All right. So this is actually what I call a bull pole and flag, the flag being the consolidating area of price action. And there's a couple different ways you can trade this depending if you want to be a momentum uh, trader and trade the breakout or if you want to be more of a swing trader and a speculative buy and we're going to go over those right now. So starting off with the momentum trade, uh, the way you could do it is basically you're going to be looking at this area of 52 and a lot of other people will be also looking at that. Look for the price action to break that 52 area with an increase of volume behind it. And again, this is going to be more of a day trade, maybe a very quick swing trade. Uh, but again, it's a momentum buy. So you're going to be looking for a entry up just past the 52 on a break with some good volume. And a price target for me, I'd say about 54. And you could always maybe shave off a quarter, a third, or half of your position to lock in some gains. But let the rest keep riding just in case uh, you, know, you can get some more future gains. And if not, uh, at least you took some gains out of it and it wasn't completely a waste of your time. And then also, now if you're going more into a spe speculative buy, you could buy within the pattern itself. And there's a couple pros uh, to this and a couple cons as well to this uh, strategy. Now the pros is that you can buy and say, let's say in the flag around the $50 range. And you could have a tighter stop loss, say right around here at the 48 because you can see price did bounce off this a couple of times about four to five data points so that could be definitely an area of intraday support so you could have a, uh, a stop loss slightly below that and another pro to this is that because you're getting in closer to the 50 range uh, you have more of a range of of profits um, able to be taken so you could possibly take off another quarter a third or half of your position right at the 52 resistance and let the rest ride Hopefully it continues to break out to the 54, 55 area where again you could take off another quarter, a half um, or all of your position, whatever you like to lock in more gains. So you can actually have a couple different profit taking areas. All right. Now the cons of this is that the pattern has not completed itself, meaning we are not guaranteed a breakout. This actually could fail and crash back down. I'm not saying it is, but that's just something that can happen. So once again, you can buy as a momentum buy, more of a day trade at the break of 52 with increased volume or a speculative buy around the $50 range with a stop loss slightly below 48 if you're looking to more of a swing trade uh, this ticker. Either way, traders, this has been a great day for this ticker. Great volume. 
Um, and I'm going to be keeping an eye on this in the following days. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments about this ticker, comment below. Follow us on StockTwits, Facebook, and Instagram. And we are also now offering a free 30-day free trial to our 24-7 live chat room. And you can find all the information for that below. Thank you for watching, traders. And until next time, stay profitable.